Yeah. I got 28 grams in the city, bro. You say that you the man, heard you flip, bro. You catch me cruising in the van with the click, my homies. Hoodies up like we the clan. I got 28 grams in the city, bro. I got a bitch that show me ass, show me dicks, bro. And I be dicking in the games like it's Thanksgiving. Yeah. Hoodies up like we the clan. First things first, talk about the squad if you can murder. Coming from the long time net swiper. <laughs> Don't start that. I'd like to start by saying good evening, everyone. This is episode six. Am I sixteen? Am I 16, correct? Yeah. Sixteen. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's episode sixteen. Whose pot is it anyway? I go by the name of KV. To my left, we have. Are you still Barley Minaj? No, Barley B. Who are you? Barley Bobane. Oh <laughs> shit, Barley Bobane. Barley Bobane. Holy Bobane. crap. To my left, we have Barley Bobane. In front of me. We have the Honorable Slade Dawkins. To the right of me, we have Trev Taylor, a.k.a. Uh, Somber Trev, a.k.a. Hopefully Red Bull gives him wings. <laughs> a.k.a. This boot ain't no tickler. Taco Trev Naughty, man. Also Trev Naughty. He knows he's Trev Naughty as well. And then to my, my right, my, my direct right, you know, as he always is. <laughs> immaculately uh, Go ahead, draped <laughs> in some of Europe's greatest. <laughs> um, Marlo Sosa, Booby Huncho. No Marlo Sosa, man. No, no, it's done. It's done. It's done. Yeah. Just Booby Huncho. Booby from Hermitage. Booby from Hermitage. You know, crazy. I don't think we ever said like my real alias on here. Should we? Nah, <laughs> let him wait for that. Okay, we're not gonna. <laughs> we're not gonna debunk it. Yeah. Slash that too. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, episode episode sixteen. Um, Sharks is in route. Um, but uh, we're going to get into it. Um, so there's still a lot of controversy. I think last week we talked about the NBA coming back. Um, since then, there's been some reports, some some dif- differing reports, you know, from uh, some sources about uh, some players not necessarily being ready to go back. Namely, we have Kyrie Irving. We have uh, Dwight Howard. Uh, was Avery Bradley right? Avery Bradley. Um... I think those are. I think those are the names. I don't the, know the, what names are the real names because they said uh, Donovan CP3. Mitchell. They said Donovan Mitchell was one. And he said I'm not one. He so said he said different reports though. Yeah, so I'm not sure. I mean the three that the three that I know because I've seen statements like I've seen Dwight Howard on TV Kyrie, talking Dwight. about it. I've seen Kyrie. I've seen Avery Bradley put out a statement. So that's why I'm naming those three specifically. Mm-hmm. I know some people I've seen stuff where they was like, Nah, that's cat. Like, I didn't yeah. say that. Like, I think Victor Oladipo was one of them where he was like, "Nah, I definitely didn't say that." Been used for clout. But um, so like, what are y'all thoughts on like on um the opposing sides? Like, do you think do you think um like they should play, or are you on the side of those who are saying like it's more the protest will kind of lose its steam if you um you know what I mean if you if you go if you if you start playing basketball and people start watching the NBA, would the protest not be as uh, strictly on the protest? I'm just from that perspective. Uh, I, I, mean, I didn't even that think didn't even about cross my mind. I didn't even. I didn't even think it would be that deep. I want them to play. Like, I yeah, I, don't know. I think the world needs it. Like, yeah, like I, I'm pretty sure they're going to incorporate stuff like that into their stuff. They always do. I don't think it's going to overshadow it. If anything, they they going to help them promote it. If anything, I don't think there will be value at all. I don't think so. Something. Personally, I think it's I don't, it don't make sense to boycott it because it's just at this point I think all the ears and eyes is already on it. I think you can put even more money and more attention to it if you actually added sports to it. Person, because like at, at this point they're gonna sit home and be silent. I don't see like the I don't see the game behind. It. I don't. I was trying to like psychoanalyze like both sides so I can get both sides, but I don't understand the other side. It's like let's sit home and. Well, Kyrie, well, from what you said a little bit before, Kyrie, I don't, I don't know if this, you know, because there's a lot of stuff they say that on the call. Kyrie said the players can start, the, should start their own league. Right they now, tried that before. I don't, right they, now, they tried it. They tried, they tried this before with the door in the lockout. I remember that was talks about LeBron and Chris Paul, and them wanted to start their own league, and it didn't lead to anything. But I think, do you, I mean, I'm not, so I'm not on the side of not playing. So I, I, I'll put that out there, but I'm just trying to play devil's advocate because I don't want all of us. Can they start like, their own they league? But yeah, because like, they're, they're. This is the, not the NFL. 
like where like okay if the quarterbacks leave then you know what I'm saying it's like alright you just put another uh, another body in that helmet and ahead. people are just gonna watch it mm-hmm. if you take the stars out of basketball and it's tell over. people to go somewhere else and watch them somewhere else people are gonna watch them somewhere else Moni Moni and I draw, just gonna watch the NBA not to cut you off Moni drawback is the NBA has been be behind the players the whole time like since Adam Silver has been the commissioner he's given he's pushed the he no, pushed no. the player that's what I'm saying I what I want to double stab him when he's been behind like he ain't a Roger Goodell well, where now since it's cool he's saying Black Lives Matter I'm only Adam playing, Silver's on that shit years ago like I'm, I'm, I'm with only, my players I'm only playing devil's advocate but, no I feel you but this is so and I'm 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 trying to, I'm trying to dig deeper into Kyrie's point because I don't want to pile on to he, Kyrie he's but I, I feel like I feel like if you talk about from a power perspective though if you own the league as opposed to just being a player in the league. The revenue that you would then bring in, the type of money that you would then have, the type of leverage you would then have. I mean, if you really, really think about it, that's the ultimate theoretically, goal. So theoretically, it so, can happen. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's not like it's that impossible. No overnight shit, though. Yeah. yeah no, but I'm saying, but think, I'm saying, but if there's any time, I'm, and I'm again, I'm playing double. Yeah, 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 go ahead. Stadiums are empty. Hmm? There's no fans in the arenas. There are probably not going to be fans in the arenas in 2021. So if you don't have people in arenas, all they're doing is watching it. So if I'm telling you, instead of watching it with the NBA logo on it, watch it with LeBron you, James you, doing a dunk. Where you playing at? You can get you can play any gym. You can play any any gym. So you stop the bubble to create your own. Yeah, you create your own bubble. Okay. I, I just I just want to throw that out there, like. You know I mean? <laughs> At first, that's what I'm saying. I was confused. I thought he Stop wanted to. I thought it was like a, just a boycott for you know to support the movement. Then it was like let's create our own league. Now I'm lost. At first, I thought well, like we all, shouldn't play. I'm that all is within one thing though. Can I go in? I ain't give my perspective yet. Uh, I was with him to a, to a certain extent when he was just like because he's making it more about us. He like. With, like with everything he do, he go all the way around the world to get to. I feel like if if it's true that he's supposed to be like he's he's hitting players saying we can start our own league, he went all the way around the world just to get to that. Cause first it was, yo, well we don't know about COVID, we might get sick. Then it was, well we got something more important going on in this country. We don't want to take our uh, community away from protesting because y'all gonna be right back in front of the TV watching us. Then it was back to we don't think it's safe, and now it's like start your own league. So it's like, which which are all great points, but it's like, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> like stick to something, bro. You do this every time. You go all, all the all way league, around the these world. These are all sources, though. None of these are direct quotes from Kyrie, though. That's true. That's true. So we don't know really what he on. But it's he it, with this today's technology. He is the, he has a way to show all that down. So. But, I mean, I've seen it done. Like I ain't seen that. You could, but you could finish the season and still do, like the only. But that's why I don't agree with him because I feel like you can do both things. Like so now, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like right now, like, that side. If anybody is going to, it will be the NBA. It's, right? it's, it's no fans. It's no fans that saying, "No, oh, we don't want it." Go ahead, you know, we good. We out here. We need a fucking break, bro. Before I, I, a lot of us basketballs are break, so ain't none of us saying like. We supporting you because, like, the people that do support him, like me, halfway, because I'm saying, yo, I get what you're saying. I'm supporting you because it's you, Kyrie. You know what I'm saying? But I can still handle everything I need to handle in my community and come home. I'm coming home every night anyway. So why not watch you play ball? Well, not you, but... I just think it's some validity to... I just said that. Owning your own league. I think that's... He had a point with with everything that they said... Everything that came out that they said, he had a point with everything. Whether it was COVID-19, whether it was the protesting, whether it was owning their own league. Everything got some validity to it. That, so I'm not disagreeing with that at all. But that sounds good with the A-list guys that already got the hundreds of millions. Oh, yeah, the mother guys, they're not with The mother that. guys are going to be with that shit. And even people... Two years, two million dollar contract. Yeah, somebody just said something. Who, who said something? Somebody just said something. Ed Davis. Ed Davis. Yeah. yeah, but that's why I'm, that's why I'm on that side though. I yeah, like like you know, like, you say that, yeah. Like, take no break, bro. Like, 
Yeah, like, yeah. You said for life. It'd be yeah. your career in the day. And, yeah. they, and they got into it a little deeper um, and stuff that I wasn't thinking about, but they were saying, like, even with, like, the CBA, like, you know, if y'all lose that money... It's going to fuck know, up, yeah. Future contracts, people making less money, blah, 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 blah. Like, that's all, that's all going to have a, a negative I think at effect. this point, it's, it's weird because I feel like the players already run the league. They just don't own the league. But they come up with the CBAs, the, the revenue is, is already leaning players. So they're yeah. already cutting good. Yeah, they're already cutting good. So my point is, and, and my whole thing is, with this particular league, they are behind you. This, it's not like they're not. Uh, uh, they're not reacting. They're proactive. Like I said, Adam Silver was proactive. I remember when they had the I can't breathe. They wanted to find him. He said, Nah, I'm not finding nobody. God damn, I'm struggling out the league, man. No, nah, as soon as it happened, so he did. said, banned for life. So did without no vote. That's what I'm saying. Like, but Roger Goodell, he's I'm Roger seeing Goodell him. Goodell would never. <laughs> no. Bud Sillick would never. Can we? Uh, all right. So Hell no. We good on the NBA? Because I kind of want to. I kind of want to touch on Roger Goodell a little bit. Because I think I'm gonna be on a different side of Roger Goodell. Oh, okay. That's yeah. it. Go ahead. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Nah, I, I feel like. I feel like. <clears throat> oh boy. I feel like Roger Goodell. I feel like he's showing everybody. He speak for the NFL. Yeah. Right or wrong. Mm-hmm. He's oh, not an owner. Leave, leave me this way, please. He speaks for the NFL. Now, there's no more collective bargaining for Roger Goodell. He's he's done. Like, he's he going he going max out. There's no more. Ain't no ain't no next contract for Roger Goodell. Don't don't say he he's showing who he truly is. No, I'm not saying he's showing who he truly is. I'm just saying now he's not as considerate of the owners. Of the owners. I'm not saying that the whole time he was woke and he was actually out there with a mask on, out there protesting. No, 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 I'm not I, saying I, none of that. I, I I'm just saying I don't think Roger Goodell was the villain the whole time. I think he's just the voice. Like he's not. Yeah, he's not. It's not like in the NBA with Adam Silver. It's not. It's not the same thing. Fall guy. You, he's the fall guy. Why? Why do you think he made that statement? The one that he just recently made. Yeah, it's, it, I only see one reason. No, it's convenient. It's safe. No, but it's really only like <laughs> one reason. Who is in that video that's the best player in the world right now? Who, Mahomes? Yeah. He saw the best player in the world. They're like, oh, shit. Our number one commodities with this shit. Let's roll. I don't think if Mahomes would have stayed back like the, like Brady them did a couple years ago, he wouldn't have said shit. That's all I'm saying. Like, I don't have no respect oh. for him. I have no respect for none of them. All this reactive shit, I'm, I've never been good with it. When they tried to pay a little eighty million dollars to Malcolm Jenkins and them before for the community, I knew that was some bullshit. Then Eric Reed called that out. Then I already knew all the shit. Now it's cool. Like every fucking major corporation is monetizing our pain, and now it's like really pissing me off. Like I turn on Netflix and it says Black Lives Matter segment. Like come on, man, y'all don't give a fuck. I rather you just tell me you don't give a fuck. I rather like me know what it is and it's cool. Like I know what the NFL is, man. I know what it is. They told you what it is. Shit. Hey man, sometimes you need that fake love to push the envelope though. Shit. I mean, I, I push the Netflix push the, the envelope more than Hollywood and fucking uh regular TV oh, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, They've been yeah, on that kind yeah, of all of them is racist. They, they give they give the opportunities to black yeah. actors without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah. More than anybody. They be they do be on that type of shit. Yeah, about they they be on like the, they help out the gay community so they do be kinda on that. Alright, y'all believe that shit y'all want to. That's the reason why I not believe nothing in the world now. I'm uh, I'm very skeptical of a lot of things, boop. I seen a lot of shit uh, behind oh, the scenes yeah, that all right, so I know a lot of the shit is more about money more than anything. It ain't about no they care and it's like, you know. Let's I'm pay saying. Dave Chappelle fifty million dollars because he's worth it. Yeah, I, that, I ain't talking I'm, about I'm just saying I'm, I'm just talking about I'm talking about like uh shows and movies. That that are black shows and black movies don't, don't that don't even crack the top ten of uh, like you know Netflix like they top ten, and they keep going, and and and, and, and. but I ain't gonna make this like a, 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 a like a Netflix thing. But I don't I don't know where they stand at on it. I just know they give a lot of opportunity to black people, and a lot of them is no names. Oh no, I just um, I kind of that was kind of on me because I, I jumped into Roger Goodell, but. Basketball, everybody wants his lead to come back, right? Nobody is. Uh, All right, I believe everybody. No, no, no. Go back to your Roger Goodell. I want you like that. Was that no, no, your, your your complete I thought? I wasn't. I was just saying like, I don't feel like he's like that. You, you, you I don't just, think he's. I don't think he's the bad guy. Like, I feel like he's. I don't feel like he's a good guy. Like I'm not like. Yeah, I don't think he's I'm not putting guy, him in right. Adam. You don't think he's Jerry Jones? Yeah, like no. Nah, I think All he's right. just you know he got to speak for. 
a bunch of did, racist did ass Did he owners. let Trump bitch you? Of course. That's my problem. Of course he did. Like, but all the other owners did too. I think Jerry's like, racist. I I I feel like it's a slave yes, or slave master. Yes, yes, I do. I think I do. it's like a slave. You know, there's certain slaves, slave masters that love their slaves, like the good old boy. Yeah, like I, he's that's, like that's that. I, I get that. I get that. I get like the good old boy. I don't feel like he looked. At I didn't get like that. He equal. said it, but now I'm like, like, I get like, that. like you ever see Roots remember how to do chicken George? He was yeah. winning chicken fights. Oh, Michael Irvin, my good yeah. old son. Like yeah, he's like, they like, like that. I'm like, I didn't think that's what he said he needed. That's how I feel. I always felt like that. Oh, not like a, not yeah, he, like a, he's not that owner that just beat the shit out of him. He, that owner that yeah, just like, he's no, a he, slave. He he, he <laughs> loves his he loves yeah. his slaves. Like, yeah, he loves just, his slaves. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you a slave though. Yeah. Like, don't get out of line. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you still my slave. He like, told he told motherfucker what it was. Prescott, like, don't you? Would you forty million? Like, what the mm. fuck? nah. He told you. He said, Yo, y'all better not. <laughs> yeah, like, protest. We're not doing that. No, we're not doing that here at all. It was no leeway or nothing. Did they? You know what happened. All right, then. And they all follow him too. He's the leader. They hold on wherever he does. They all follow behind him. I love him. Lock his yeah. The whole no, they swear by him. Even like if you because he don't treat them bad. Even if you leave, I like, they love him. Retire, they still they love, love dude to death. Because he don't treat them bad. Yeah. That's, I'm, nah, I got to. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence, man. I don't oh, know. Shit. Man. I don't no. know. I would love to hear his private conversations. The way he talk, I know. Come on, I know, bro. I know in private that much. He says shit. Like his views, are, you, you can hear the way. Come on, bro. He not with none of that extra shit. I know he ain't not with that. He not with that foolish. When it comes to football, yeah, he sees you know. You talented, <laughs> yeah. And he like he the, loves football. He I think he loves. He has his positions, but he loves football. He like the ones with problems. He loves the ones with problems. Because once damn, he so you bringing me back there. Because once he bring you in, he'd he be like, damn, yo, he gave me a shot. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. I love this. <laughs> oh, we oh, we stay picking up the problems. We pick oh, the problems. You know what I'm saying? Like the problems get like Urban was a crackhead. Literally, you come to, you come to the Cowboys. This is why Urban is Grand so high Hardy. on my wide receiver list. That's another. That's a whole another conversation. Robbing people, that's doing all types of stuff. Man. Nasty. Randy Gregory, just everybody that get in trouble, man. Charles yeah. Haley, they say he pissed it's on somebody or something, right? Didn't oh. he? Yeah, he that whole some, Cowboys yeah. team that was winning Super Bowls was a bunch set, of Seth Troy Aikman and Smith. Everybody was wow. Off the chain, it was wow. Hell, he was crazy. Like, <laughs> yeah. the backstories they got on, dude. <laughs> <Yo>. Nuts, <laughs> nuts. Yo, word is lay. Six bowls. He should be the Hall of Fame, but they say he was so nuts to the media. I ain't gonna let him in, but they say, he, yeah, but they say he was he was raw, Hall of Fame but. A joke. Huh? All the famous Joe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Once took T.O. four Shout times to get to in. T.O. <laughs> yeah, yeah. T.O. Yeah. had his own Hall of Fame ceremony. He should have. Of course he was first ballot. Easily. Yeah, Steve Large Steve Large was the first ballot. Who was that? Steve Large was first ballot. No, no, I was just top three. Steve Large, what the fuck? Who? T.O. He's my favorite wide receiver all the time. He's top three for sure. He's top three for me. Top three. It's not even. Minimum. Top five minimum. If you don't even like minimum, most of yeah. more other I shit. Top five, I'm looking at you funny. Yeah, me too. I'm just saying though. It's, if he, you know, how different. people just you know yeah. look at different things. Want to be stupid? Yeah, yeah, but he has to be in your five. If he's not in your five, why are we talking? Like, well, there's no. So how is a there. top five person not first ballot? They don't even. They don't make sense. I think I can't and, explain it because <laughs> the media. Oh, uh, that's not an explanation. Oh yeah, for real. <laughs> it's, it's it's actually sad that he had to wait. Uh, Shannon Sharp had to wait four or five. Like, come on, like no she like we have man. eyes, bro. I I. I can see a Hall of Famer, bro. Sharp was fire. Yeah, Shannon Sharp was super fire. No question. What? No question. It was him and Tony Gonzalez. The best, yeah, the best. the best tight ends. Is. It, was dope. it was. It was them too. And that's it. Speaking of top five, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Good. I talked about the time he retired. Oh. Yeah, now it's different. I heard a top five. I heard a top five. I heard a top, top five. five. So uh, we're halfway through the year. <laughs> uh, Damn, we is. I mean, it's, it's a fucking disgusting year. It felt like no. a year or so. No, I feel like this year has been five years. You no. can actually have that half back, but, you know, whatever. We're halfway yeah. through the year. Let's look forward to the second uh, half. Let's I'm hope. getting gray hairs off that shit, man. Yeah, this year is I'm going through right now. Yeah, this, Yo, this year is crazy. 2020 is disgusting. But anyway, we're, I mean, we're halfway through the year, so it's been a lot of music. Um, The baby just, a uh, uh, little baby just dropped uh, a, a great song. What's the, what's the name of the, the song? He just I can't even remember the name of it. It's good though. Yeah, it's, it's oh, for the for the for the for the for the movie. It's like a revolutionary joint. It's something I didn't even expect from the baby, but at all. Salute to him. Little baby. Little baby. Sorry. I just watched it for the first time today. I ain't watched the video. I just heard. It's the song. called the bigger, the bigger picture. picture. Bigger yeah. picture. Great song uh, from Little Baby. Uh, who else put us? Uh, Sue Surf. 
Sue Surf, Surf. Surf. Surf just put out an album, a great album. Can Jersey. we get it for Jersey? Can we get it for Jersey one time, please? Thank you, thank you, Sue Surf. Great, great album for Jersey. Great album for Jersey. Sue Surf is the GOAT battle rap song maker. Music maker, no question. There's no other battle rapper even in his realm musically. I don't even think it's close. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, we talking about the battle rappers now. <laughs> Not like battle rappers. Like. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. All right. Wait, who? Who? No. I'm sorry. Nah, because I know my boy. You talking about just the ones that be on Smack and shit. Yeah. No, nah, I'm just saying because my boy Meat was on the corners. I don't, know, I don't really just, count on that. Because you go that route, everybody's a better. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, hope, yeah, the hope yeah, must be the greatest. Yeah, 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 you got hope, DMX. Yeah. Nah, nah, yeah. Nah, nah, really nah, the hope and DMX got, they had like real battles and shit. Wait, what'd you say? He wasn't with that shit at all. Nah, nah, he fired though. Shit, Cassie had one of the best. He destroyed Freeway. I thought he was going to say Cassidy. I thought he was going to say Cassidy. His was trash. We count him as a battle rapper? He start. Yeah. They all, but everybody starts off like, like I'm that. I'm talking about. I'm talking about in the, the that arena. You are out. Yeah, like yeah. all yeah. of them joints, all of them, all of the yeah. battle rap arenas. No, I don't want to hear no music from none of them niggas except for Sue. Yes, yeah, except for Sue. Like I don't want to hear no. Yeah. Sue got an album on him, boy. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll tell you album. that much, man. I enjoy. Nah, that joint was fire. I like the Nork one. I like that one a lot. This one was cool for me. It was. It was good. It started off really good, and then the second half, I don't even like old love songs. You know what's funny? And that's, you know what? Because it was, because like, when I was first listening to it, I'm like, damn, yo, this shit is like crazy. It started to fizzle down, and then that outro. The outro was crazy. Yo, that's probably rap. the best song he just, can't, he just can't rap. He like, rapped so good. And then the song went off and it came back on. Then he gave you yeah. another joy after. Well, the love songs was good. Yeah. Nah, it, wasn't bad. it wasn't bad. I just but, didn't like, need him. The like, vibe the first half. I, if he would have just stayed with that whole vibe all the way through, he kind of he kind of he because he like got the little like. Nah, I, I respect girls the like him. I get it. No, I get it. Yeah, yeah, you you got it. Got it. I'm not hey, bad. Don't, don't you gotta do that. No do disrespect that. was fire. And it, what y'all talking which about? Which one was no disrespect? The one with the chick on there. It was fine. Wait, uh, London, London uh, uh, the, the other girl that rapped? Yeah. No, that's not a. That's not a. That's an earlier on the album, right? Mm. That's not earlier on. That's towards the end. Well, she it's like the mid. Yeah. She can rap. She can rap. Her ass yeah, on. that was, was a, that was a good song. It was cool for me. Like I said, it was... got the little John Legend little. Uh... <laughs> I like I like her rap. She can rap. She was good. <sighs> yeah, I enjoyed it though. Well, I like it. Like no, I like no, it. it. It's just, it's just, it's just not like you know. Not in my five, your five this year. Who, who's in your five this year? Who so far? Uh, Freddie. Wow, Freddie. You doing West Side? Are you doing in order? order right now? Or are you just? Are you just naming them? I was just naming them, but it, it started off in order. Respectful. Right. I had Freddie one, West Side two. Ah oh, shit, that's why I, those those two are just my my stand up stand out. Great albums, I like little baby album. I told you, I told him that. Well, I told all y'all that. that I, I, I had to respect his pen more. I said, start listening. I had to go through the same thing with Kodak. Well, I didn't like Kodak at all, and I think Charles made me listen to him. Like, like really listen to him. I'm like, damn, he actually says something. It's his accent that made me turn on. You know what I'm saying? So I like little baby shit a lot. I like actually like dirt shit a lot. What surprised the fuck out of me? Yeah, uh, trying to think of anything else that dropped. That's Can I go next? Yeah, sure. I'm on four. Give me another album. That, uh, some other album. Uh, I mean, you got Jay Electronica. You got Boldy, Herbo. Boldy's Boldy last year. Boldy's Boldy 2020. Boldy's last year. I looked it up. What's Conway. They probably, when they, that's probably when they added it. I'd say 2020. Yeah, I believe. Listen to that Boldy last year. Nah. If, if, if Boldy on this, I ain't like Cody. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess it's off my list, man. Well, uh, go ahead, because I can't even think of that. It was last year. I got West Side. Yeah. yeah. How you know? We know. We know? Yeah. You, we know you were moving off that one. We know. I got Freddie Gibbs, too. Cool. I got Mozzie 3. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was a good album. I was about to say. I got Mozzie 3. Okay. I ain't listened to it yet. Forgot about Bonzi. He and my five. I got Baby Four. Hmm. I got Sue Five. I like Sue better than, uh, I like Sue uh, album better than Herbo. It came out February 7th, 2020, Bull DJ. No, it did not. That's what I'm saying, man. I just looked at it. Well, maybe I, bro, did, did I Did I not, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because you acting like, you acting like you're not in a group text with me. Did I not drop that album in there last year? 
saying that he got signed? I'm saying he has another great one. He has another project. I don't know if it's Price of Tea in China. I heard that. That's what I'm trying to explain. Hey, maybe, maybe you two leaked it. I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I know for a fact I dropped that album in there last Bro, year. I'm not denying what you're saying. Just it, 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 it can be back on my list. Is all I'm it's just going back in his top five. It can make my list. Let's yeah. give it up to KB going back in his top five. Back in his top five, man. Bobby is back. Huh? But yeah, that's mine. WSG, Gibbs, Mozzie, Baby, Sue. I got Sue over Dirk. Dirk and uh, I got Dirk six and Herbo seven. Okay. Mine. I got Freddie Gibbs one, Westside two, Bodhi three. J Elect four, Little Baby five, Mozzie and Sue Surf honorable mentions. Hmm. So yeah, that's hmm. mine. Pretty My cool. turn. Yeah, 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 I guess so. I didn't hear any Little Wayne. Stop it. Why? <laughs> Why? No, I'm just saying. I'm just fucking don't be disrespectful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. You just being disrespectful. Top ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Like, come on. Oh God, you a legend. Bro. That's why. Like, 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 that's like saying I didn't hear Nas. Yo, why? Yo, come out. Where's the cool? The year he came out, we wasn't mentioning him. No, if cool. it was fire, yes, we was. <laughs> yeah. All right, yo. Why would we not? Life is good. Was super crazy. We would have been. Ain't no need to be sassy, though, bro. It's, it's, it's crazy. Man. <laughs> Calm down. Like you didn't hear him. You didn't hear him. Like so, we've been so in, like harmonious. Like I mean, you be, like, you be getting <laughs> nasty on the low. Dude, man. Look at his fit. I should have made it. here and said, I didn't get dressed today. He yeah. said, Oh, I did. <laughs> like, bro, what? I'm not in a good uh, mood, everybody, but that's I, yo, crazy. I, yo, I was just about to say, yeah. like, Trev ain't in a good mood or nothing. He's just like, Look at this fit. <laughs> no, this is crazy, yo. yo <laughs> it's yo. hot out. Yo. 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 Little, 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 little kids. Hot yo. Out. The hot. sun went down. It was a little hot. chilly. Hold on, hold on. But I wasn't going to put a sweatshirt on. Hold on, hold on. And it's. With his beanie on. This is the appropriate time to wear this outfit. Right. It is. It is. When Absolutely. it was eighty something, you had to you had the coup for you on. Thank you, Trav. Thank don't, you. Don't, don't, the heat got nothing to do with your hats. When you ice cold, you could do that. Was I by water or was I not by water? When you ice cold, how you start on him and now you like taking his. I mean, style. let me know. I've been doing no, that. I've been doing that for twenty years, <laughs> man. <laughs> he used to it. Why are you speaking on it? He used to it. Hold on. Did you have that on on the ride there? No. Yes, you did. In you the car? So, so you, 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 had the, you had the scully off in the car and you put it on since you got outside? Yeah. Nah, hell no. I know you're looking at himself in a little mirror and drive. Wait, wait, oh. Probably whispering. What? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have it on in the car. We got out. And it was chilly. Put the beanie on because it was a part of my outfit. But he said the and sweat we wouldn't hit his. toward the water where there was a breeze, so he I wasn't. He didn't even, he didn't even sweat. No, he said it the sweat sense. couldn't touch my. What you, I forgot the exact his, thing. His, his enriched melanin skin. Melanated. I mean, melanated. Excuse Why's me. your nose on the mic? <laughs> Man, you be asking the wrong kind of questions. <laughs> Why you, Why? Hey, I'm sorry, yo. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, this dude sorry about that. Nasty, man. Oh, my bad, America. He nasty. Shit. Number one. It was a toss up between my one and two until. The start deluxe from, came start out. Start from, uh, start from five. Yeah. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta start Everybody from five. else started from one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Start from five. Start from five, yo. His, five. One, his one was just crazy. Yeah, he was about his to, one was just crazy. Yeah, I wanted to fuck me up. Yeah, I, yeah, I, wanted, go, I wanted to be, I wanted to surprise me with the Five got a little baby. All right. Album's real good. It is real I still didn't listen to the deluxe. So it probably has a chance to maybe you move should, up. You should, you should, you should. It's, it's some shit on there. You should listen to the deluxe. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Now I forgot my four because you threw my like order out. <laughs> God damn, yeah. who's four, man? Fuck slay, go green, order. Green, type it down, bro. Nah, hell no. I didn't. I'll go top, top, man. top, man. I'll go top. Man, I gotta throw somebody in there because I forget. Damn, man. Let's go order. Fuck them. Yeah, go order. I don't remember my four now. All right, but start from the beginning. Fuck it. I just want you number one. Number one is G Herbo. I knew he was going to do that. Ah, damn, you crazy. The Deluxe is, it throws more flame on it. I mean, it's a good album, but... Did you listen to Deluxe? I listened to Deluxe. You went to his concert. I didn't listen to You have a different type of I connection, I guess. Fuck with Herbo too, though. I like Herbo too. You don't fuck with him. It wasn't one. You don't fuck with him like that. You don't. You, you say you do, but you don't. 
I can tell. I consistently say I fuck. I don't fuck with Swervo. I don't fuck when he try to sound like I he's from Atlanta. Swervo, yeah. None of us fuck with Swervo. All right, so what the fuck is we talking about? Humble Beast is like one of my favorite albums. That's a great album. It's a really great. Yeah, I'm a big, right. I'm a big I, First of all, you know I don't like a motherfucker. I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> I don't like a motherfucker. Like y'all know me. I'm probably the most opinionated about music y'all know. I'm gonna tell you, but I'm. Oh, uh, let's say this number two, man. Where you going, bro? He wants bush. Oh, Dirk. <laughs> he don't want it. He don't want it. Well, you went completely the whole other way, so. Who, me? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just speaking facts, man, about albums. Um, so it was three. What's up? I listen. Remember, I said I ain't know which one I like better out of that and J Electronica? Mm-hmm. I listen to them both back to back. I like that album better. You should. Yeah. But don't chill. You don't got yeah. Gibbs in your five? Ooh. All right. Shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Nah, it's late, man. It's yeah. so late. Oh, I'm all in my back. He hey. can't remember his floor anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, fuck, they got him back. Go yeah, ahead. He crazy, dog. I got, uh, got play for Paris, number one, dog. That's my nigga. That boy yeah. never let me down. Pardon me, Trey. That's my nigga. Hey, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, yeah shit. I got this. I mean, two you a good boy, so I get it. Two I got, I got gifts, man. I'll give it to you, man. Yeah, with you? Number two, I'll Three. Got a little baby shit, man. I'm not mad at you. I came a long way, man. Same here. Because I tried to deny it. I did, too. I tried my hardest to deny it. For a moment, I tried, too, as well. It was early, though. It was early for me. Shout out to me, man. Whatever, man. I drilled that in all y'all, man. (laughs) (laughs) I drilled that shit in y'all. Y'all got to hear this. Nah, you did. But I got... uh, Four. I got I got dirt shit, dirt shit four, um, five. I, got, I think I got I think I got Su- I ain't listen to Mozzie shit. I was about to say Mozzie only cut my five. I think I got Su- No, I got he's, Su- my, he's number five for me. Oh, Mozzie's in five. Yeah. Oh, I ain't listening yet. I'm listening tonight. Like, that's Mozzie and five. five. That's a good. Album. I fuck some Mozzie. Yo, bro. Wait, wait. How you wait? How you like Boogie, but you don't like Mozzie? I do like Mozzie. I love his last album. Oh, I was about to say. Y'all like his the album with Sue? I ain't never heard that one. The Blood, the blood Cousins one? I ain't, I ain't hear that. Sorry, it got some, yeah. it got some shit on there. It, so, no wonder they, that, that, that shit meshed so well on the uh, yeah, they whole, they whole, track. They got a whole project together. It's called Blood Cousins. Because him, Cousin. Herbo, and, and, and Sue. Herbo, that, that song is fucking <laughs> nuts. <laughs> He had Herbo on beat. Bro. Herbo rap, rap, rap. Herbo had the best. I, I was saying Mozzie had it, but Herbo no, had the best verse. Herbo first. had the best verse. Yeah, that was yeah, that was Herbo. Herbo, Herbo had, had the best verse. Herbo had that. But speaking of the albums, and speaking of the little baby, we've seen Meek say that he hit in legendary status. Uh, that's, that's Cam like- recalled... Who else said he was compared? You know, to Lonzo some, Ball said he was compared Lonzo to Lil Ball. Wayne. Lil Wayne. Wayne. That was the comparison that. that nah, that all right. Listen, I'm coming on on the side, but relax. Is he? But 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 the question, I guess, that should be asked: Is he ascending? Is, yeah. Is he reaching that class of like the Travis? I guess should we say he's the Cole way. Kendrick? It's right? looking like it. He, he, he's, he's on his way. Now it's like some fire ass merch. But he gets some fire merch. He'll be like, I don't know, because Migos ain't have merch. They, Migos did have merch, my bad. Yeah, Migos yeah. had merch. But they dressed yeah. crazy. They dressed Baby up. got hurt. Merch. My bad. He got the uh yeah. <laughs> The um I never copied. For for uh I don't know. Whatever that shit called, man. Yeah. See that's where the fire ass. Four pock what is it? Charlie? Like, four pock is what? I don't like it. Mm-hmm. Four PF. Uh, Damn. He needs some fire. That? That's baby. That's baby he shit. Yeah, I know. He, he he been having like little teas and shit. He on his way. Bro. I think he's on his way. I don't think he's there yet. I think that's a whole. I gotta see when this shit open back up. Can you do an arena tour? That really let me know everything I need to know. No, he's not ready for it. That's what I'm saying. That's that level what we're talking he's about. Not ready for like uh, the Astro why, why you not ready for it? Because you gotta sell out twenty thousand a night. I don't know if he can do that. Not yet. An arena tour. He can sell it. No, 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 no. My bad. I, I was thinking that you were saying that. Uh, yeah, I, I was thinking something else. Millie Wayne level. I ain't. Like, uh, yeah. I'm saying, but uh, I'll tell you, only people that can sell out arenas like Dolo is. Kendrick, Cole, Drake, Travis, Nikki. I don't think she can anymore. Migos. 
Be. Migos never by themselves. They, they are, always, they always, a, they always, they always a feature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talking rap. We talking rap. We already know. Meek, we know. Meek, can, I don't think a Meek can do an arena by himself. I don't think Meek can do an arena by himself. My bad, know, my by, bad. By uh, himself, I'm not sure. You know all the greats. We're not including yeah, like Hov yeah, and yeah, Kanye, yeah. and of course That's they can not, do it. That's no question. Yeah. So who you said? Drake, Drake, Kendrick, Cole, Cole. Travis. That's one of those I've seen where it's just like that's just them and come out. I think Cardi could do it too. Right now, I think Cardi could. Maybe. Cardi can. I'm putting them down. I, I, would, I wouldn't. I'm just saying right now because her. What the last? I think. I'm saying if she announced that she's doing an arena tour, I think that should be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what? You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's. Yeah, but that's only him. Nikki still got it. I don't think Nikki can do an arena tour. Yeah, she don't. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember they they wasn't selling out. Yeah, that shit wasn't selling out. Future's one. Future's so always not, with somebody. Nah, bro, he's not. He can't do it by himself. Tour. He just, he just he canceled with somebody. He just canceled with Nicki. I'm, 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 nah, that's Nicki. I'm, I'm going with the Drake yeah, thing, though. No. They was nah, they was I'm, but I'm going off the Drake name, though. No. Yeah, yeah, he's with Drake. You know what I'm saying? Like he always yeah. with Drake. I'm going <laughs> Drake off. selling out. Drake go. I'm by myself. Let's go. We out. Yeah, yeah. So when you say arena tours, I'm talking. Yeah, I'm talking about Madison Square Garden. Twenty thousand, twenty thousand, and not NBA arenas. That's what I mean. Like, like twenty uh, Staples Center. Can you do Staples Center? Can you sell out consistently every it's, tour? It's not, every, not yet. Just you, just you. I ain't talking about if you got Drake, Meek, and all them with you. I'm talking I, about just Han Dolo. I, I think the really, I think you really look at it like that. I think he got a, a while ago. Nah, I'm not gonna say that. You know why I'm not gonna like say that? Years. You know why I'm not gonna say that? Because I believe if that whole uh, Ooh, Corona ain't yeah. hit. Just woe off of TikTok alone, he was going to get there. Woe, woe, woe was TikTok. Woe was crazy. He was going to get there, woe bro. Was woe, woe was huge. And that's fucked up because coronavirus fucked up. Them. Like, even though people still respect his uh, album and it still did all right, coronavirus fucked the momentum up for that. Away from it. We talking about with the song? Yeah, that shit that you don't like. The only thing you don't like on Baby Album, single. Oh, the dance. Oh, yeah, 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 I ain't fuck with that. Now, I, I believe... But like, was, that was I, a hit. I think, I think Momentum nice. I think momentum would have rolled him into the, the arena. Club. Hey, you want to know something crazy? I thought the baby okay, was going to get to that arena level quick. And it's just like he I just... Thought I thought he would because like... He, his, he can actually perform. He, dropped like, he has energy. He but then he up. just... I'm not. I'm just not into him. I'm, I, I'm not either. But I'm saying though, I'm just no, talking no, about no, like, I can sell you. it out. I'm with you. But like he just That's sad though, because he could rap. Crazy he part is, don't he got no more song in the country? All right, yeah. He, Who's yeah. on it? Is him, him and, and uh... Roddy Rich? Yeah, Roddy, Roddy Rich. Rich. Roddy Rich might be close because I saw him doing like he's, close he's to a tour. He's, he's, he's building. Right. He, Roddy's, close. Roddy's close. That's another person I forgot. Roddy Rich is close. No, but he's close doing arenas. Really? He got hits. That's that building up Billboard charts forever. Me, I was on that album heavy. Box man, box squad. Um, but he got no more song in the country right now with the baby. No, I know that. I'm just saying. Yeah, box, and like, that lasted forever. That's what I'm like hoping. Like that's what I'm trying to like. Not saying y'all don't understand it, but it's like at the same time, do y'all like? Cause like some of them hits that take a life of their own, bro. It could push you towards that arena. But I don't think you do. I don't know. You need you need a catalog for them like, shits. I understand that, but I I because like I think, right, Travis had hits, but he didn't get there to. Astroworld. Yeah, Astroworld. Yeah, true. True, 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 Kendra too. Kendra didn't true. get the damn. True. But I'm saying with the whole TikTok wave and all that. Yeah, it's, it's big. But that, that's a TikTok. catalog. That TikTok is different than paying three, four hundred dollars to watch seat. somebody perform for, for four that's hours. True. TikTok is that's 15, that's true. 30 seconds. Like, you know what I mean? You do a quick little mm. and get up out of there. Like, <laughs> 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 Do it again, yeah. <laughs> well, we, we, we know social media. Business. Social media is a motherfucker. That's but paying money. That's where you really see who your real fans. Because you know a lot. Of, a lot of the people who we talk about are going to sell out arenas. Don't do any of the social media. Like Drake tried it with the two C thing, but we we know Drake. He don't yeah, got to do none of that shit. Way. But I'm saying he don't got to. He don't got to do none of that. Mm-hmm. Cole don't talk. We just he Cole pop up sell out. Uh, I don't. I don't know if he has social media. Oh, he does. He does. Kendrick, Kendrick, Kendrick don't like do four nothing. Post. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying. Like they like, even got PR. Man. But that's what, <laughs> no, like, nah, but that's Cole's what I'm saying. Um, like I like that level though. Is he selling out like this? I like that? No, no but I like. I, that. But that's what I'm I saying. Like, like they don't got to do the gimmicky, yeah, whatever, yeah. and see if the, the uh, see what happens. It's like nah, like their people are so locked in, it don't matter. They gonna spend the money. But all right, that's not the same as yeah. You got. A million, true, true. You know, read TikTok. I don't know what. The, All right, so know. we went straight into arena though. But like, is he reaching top tier rapper status? Yes. Yeah. 
Yes. Oh, yes. that's a, a little baby. Little baby. baby. Yeah. We did two hundred thousand first week. That's this, that's three hundred thousand. That's this is a good. What's that's creeping on the two? My bad. To me, uh, to I don't me, like him. Uzi's up there too. He's creeping. He's. They're both in that tier too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're in that tier Uzi too. Knows, Uzi's creeping. Uzi's doing arenas. Uzi doing arenas. Um, festivals. 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 I don't know about arenas yet, bro. I think Uzi. Dolo? I'm arena. talking about like, yo. I think No yeah, guess. Just, I'm just talking about Uzi. Nah. just I Uzi. Think, I think he's on his way. I think Uzi could do he, arena. He's doing something with three or four of the cats in the arena. A festival is going to be beautiful. No, I know. I, no, no. I, I'm not. I wasn't saying like he's like he's doing it now. I'm not saying that. Oh, you say he's doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, no. oh yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not saying like he's done it. I'm saying... To me, everything cleared tomorrow. Madison Square. And in and, and August, Ooh. they said little Uzi Verb. Madison. Madison Square. I don't know that it out. I got my opinion. I, I, he probably sell Philly out. It's a lot of Uzi Verb fans. It's a uh, there's a lot of them. I don't know about Fargo. I think he can do Wells Fargo all day. I, can, I, can, I, can, I, can, I don't know. I don't know. Can he, can he do Boston? Can he like all of like, it? It get, it get crazy. It gets spooky. Going to Tucson, Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, it start getting, it start getting crazy when you start getting in them. You know what I mean? Them, the middle, the middle states are all squares. <laughs> For real, no. this is all the same. Can you sell out? Can you sell out Kansas? No. That's what I'm saying. He look like he what? <laughs> I, I don't think, he look like he. But I don't think he can, yo. <laughs> I don't know. The black population look like he. I don't it's know, it's man. Nasty. I think Uzi up there though, man. I know yeah, no, I, 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 sure. I just mentioned him. Yeah. I think he's. I think he's tier two, going toward tier one, like baby. I think the last I person. I think the last person to send was Travis. You think he won? I'm saying one is is Travis and them. I think he's there with them. She no. hell no. Them, nah, that's nah. that's rare. That's rare. Fight there. <laughs> I'm talking about like the Grammys give you the last performance. Just, like, just, just, it's to me is Travis. Travis, Kendrick, Cole, Drake. Yeah. Yeah, they, those. However are you want to put them in order, I'll be better. Just like don't. them dudes is like like mm. you go to and you like it's like solid thing. Like Uzi is that like you, you, you catch people. This, this is what I'm saying. Arena. Bro, you catch. Okay. I, I, I get the arena. We 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 got past that. Y'all all disagree. I said top tier rapper. He said, "Well, I guess that go, I guess that coincides with, Could with Uzi the whole." Could ever arena. headline over any of them that I just named? Could he ever be the headline of any show involving over any? them? Yes. No. No. Can Cole over yes. headline Drake? Cole could be a headliner at a show. Can he over? Don't no no no. Switch yes. the question in the middle. With Drake, yes. Well, Drake. Over, is, I mean, Drake is probably over Drake. Besides no. Drake, I think he's he's, he's probably he's the like Drake is Drake. The what? Not, but, he's the what? <laughs> the black. <laughs> the fucking one. He's the top. He's the top guy. He's nah. the biggest dude. Me? Yeah. Meek in that second tier for me. Meek should be Meek. in there first. Thing. It's something like holding me. Like he, he right. Like I think Meek holding me. He's, he's, like he's like two to go. Like, like, two, like as far as like the leaders of the it's because generation. We, it's, it's, nah, nah. Because we, cause, cause now we, we, we put in the whole arena thing with it. What I was the whole yeah. thing. I know that. I know that. But I'm saying like if we, if we, I'm, if we more strictly rapping like Meek is there. Yeah. Yeah, we got the streets. One, yeah, I just got, I just, I just got Meek at Meek Tier got Two. It's a different level. Like just barely crossing over on the one. He like right there. I just got Drake, Kendrick, and Cole right over him, and then Meek is that four guys. Oh, you don't, you don't got Travis. No. So you put, so you put Meek before Travis. Hell no. Me no. not though. Hell no. no. I don't care. Travis got but documentaries about his tour. Travis Hughes, though. I'm never watching it. Travis I don't care. I, 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 don't I don't care, care. Don't care for like. I don't care for Travis Uzi. Travis, any songs I might know? I don't. Travis Scott? You have a, he has a lot of songs. You said you just don't know they're him. Antidote? Just let it go, bro. Sick no mode? You said I was like so sick. Sick and sick mode. That's the one that you Stop trying to be God? No. A lot of people won't know him though. No, it's songs that That's you know, know. You know. You don't know sickle mode. You just don't know that they're in him. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know them. You just don't Goose know. Goosebumps. Yeah, okay. It, it got. It got spooky. Hey, Goosebumps, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, you, you lost one now. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Whatever. Hey, that's hey, I'm shit. Good. I don't need them. I was crazy. I'm like, yo, because I yo, I I, yo, you know what's crazy? Oh. They think that I'd be like you. <laughs> <laughs> they think I'd be like you, but yo, like I, like yo, I, I'm a big fan of dude, man. I like. Dude Always a been lot, a fan man. of dude, man. Cool. He, I like, I like I'm, I'm talking about like when it comes to like stature, and again, he's definitely over me. Oh, like, I know who he is. We know. Okay. Nah, he over me. 
Yeah, yeah. We're, we're talking to stature, not not the actual quality of music. You might like, you know, makes music better, but when it comes to stature in the game, he's over. He, he creeping up. Mm, you might, you might like, you might like me bars better. I don't know if you even like me music better. You don't, but I'm just saying. Mix for number four in the new school. Who? That's what I just me. said. That's literally me. what I just said. Five Future, Six is probably Travis. What are you talking about all time? What are we talking about? This newer... Nah, but I was... You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the newer yeah, era of music. But the reason... We talk about this all the time. Though, but they, they coincide uh, selling out arenas with it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Travis... They coincided uh, with that. Travis selling a whole arena tour. You, you just ease. say, yeah, when it, was, when it was on with me. We talking about bigger... Uh, all I was saying was if you the top tier dudes are selling out arenas. Uh, yeah. Well, who bigger? Me or Uzi? Yeah, that's actually good. That's a good question. That's what I'm saying. That it is. Question. Actually, that was a question. Who's to go to Philly? That's a good question. Well, no, if you said go to Philly, it's me. Oh, I like him. It's, it's me. Cause it's, it's me. Yeah, it's, it's me. Cause it's me. Yeah, it's me. It's me. Yeah. But worldwide. Who's worldwide? Who who worldwide? Yeah. Who's bigger right now? In the world. It's gonna be Uzi. Uzi right now is probably bigger. Is he though? Is he? I be. Championship. Like, Championship did like three. That's a good question. That nigga had that, 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 that weird ass. This is a good question. That little, that little, good that ass little, question. That, I, don't that, that, I don't know that song. I, I like them both. I hate Uzi, man. I like Meek better though, obviously. Uzi, I. Right. I, I never really got it. Yeah, I ain't get into him though. Yeah, I. I don't fuck with it. But I think. Yeah, please. Thank I want to. Uh, got a couple songs that came on the radio. I'm I fuck, like, I fuck with Uzi. And and and, 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 and like, uh, yeah, I was about to say that. Like, if I'm listening to somebody else's album and they got him on there, he, 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 he don't ever disappoint. Body's features. Yeah, he don't ever disappoint. I'm, I'm not Uzi fan. I'm not, but it, it was cool. I think we should switch up anyway. Uh, I think it's what we going on Father's Day. I think it's. I think it's. Huh? Going to the hospital. I mean, you be safe, me amigo. I find out I get my fucking dog. He out? Yeah, on the street? Came and got him, yeah. Oh, shit. Aww. Well, Charles gotta go get his dog. Uh, so. Ain't the first time he did hard time. He be all right. He be out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> dog just got locked up. <laughs> his, his literal dog just got locked up. Uh, so, guys, Father's Day is coming. Uh, I wanted to talk on two different things, both this weekend. What's this weekend? Oh, oh yeah. We doing something? Juneteenth? Yeah. Of course. Okay. I, I feel like Friday was Friday thing was Sunday, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's two big things this weekend. Uh shout out to all the black fathers that's holding it down. We got two right here. Shout out to both of y'all. So I know in this crazy world we live, especially in the social media world, the fathers don't get enough love. And I believe the probably the most important is the black father in the household because that just sets the tone for the family, in my opinion. Uh, so salute to both of you. Uh, I wish that fathers was getting uh, showing a lot more love because it's hard, man. It's hard out here. I feel like we show women a lot of love for Mother's Day, which they deserve because they are the backbone of the family. But I believe like the fathers should get some the same amount of love too because they're there. And it, it takes a lot to be, especially a black father, because you, every day you go out and you're a black male, you got to come home and raise your black children and deal with your black woman, which is, it can be a strain on anybody. So salute to everybody that's holding it down. Um, how y'all feel about the situation? How y'all feel like how Father's Day is treated anyway? I'm cool with it, man. I, I, I think that's I, a problem. Nah, nah, because I, I don't need appreciation from the world, man. I don't need appreciation. I think that's the, I think all, I think that's the problem. No, I'm just saying. Go ahead. No, I mean, I'm going to speak for, from, from a dad point of view. I don't need appreciation from the world. I don't need appreciation from my kids. Mom, my kids give it to me. As long as my kids give it to me, don't nobody else's opinion matter to me. That's it. So are you the black father here? Yeah, I'm it. It's like I, I'm used to this. I don't even care, dog. Like I ain't expecting nothing on no Father's Day. Like Mother's Day, we gonna I might have a cookout. Might be all type of shit going on. Father's Day is just a day. And don't make me no never mind, bitch. My kids call my phone. Happy Father's Day. What's up? That's all. I'm good. You wanna go get me a pack of socks and drawers? All right. Like that's that's like. It's just another. It's just another day. That's what any holiday for me though. I don't really. You got something to say? Good. Yeah. I think I don't think fathers get showed enough love on Father's Day. 
Auger. Because there's so many, like, deadbeat dads out here that the good dads get out shown. So, I just want ladies, for example, uh, ladies, just don't be on that. I'm a mother and a father bullshit. I think that's straight bullshit. That's not the build. Thing. That's not the job you were made for. Like, be a mother and be a damn good mother. Right. I had two fathers, so to me, it's just kind of like, I respect all good fathers. I don't think y'all get enough credit. The good fathers get. You don't get enough credit, so. That's, Happy that's, Father's Day. That's nice to hear you say. KV? I mean, I don't, you know, I don't have any kids, so I don't really know how it would feel to, uh, you know what I'm saying? Get anything or anything, you know. I, I, I don't have any kids either, but I just, I have eyes, and I've just been seeing how this is what they just said is normal, and I don't like that it's a normalized thing where they just feel like, uh, it's another day. I don't feel like it should be another, I think it should be a celebration of just, just motherfuckers that that's 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 planted in the ground. That's making sure their household is good. You did it right. So, you know, hopefully you 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 will get the respect that you think like we deserve. Hopefully, shit, I'm gonna demand that motherfuckers the way this shit just got sombers and motherfuckers. That's what I'm saying. I don't like this. It should be like a. a uh, up I'm just saying it got somber shit, and that, that's the that's the point I'm making. Like it shouldn't be, it should be a celebration of fathers, especially it's black probably, fathers. Hey, man, it's probably at least you know celebrated I mean? holiday. Me, me, me. Yeah, like, the calendar year. I feel like me slaying Charlie, you know. Bitch, I'm a Yeah, yeah, you will fuck around and be like, yo, hey, yo, I got drinks for y'all, bro. So yeah. ain't like I ain't gonna enjoy it. Somebody, yeah, you get what I'm saying? Like you go, yo, and now and then like and like my girl. My girl, I, like she come through with all those type of shits, but I'm just saying, like I don't, I don't need it. I don't. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't think you should. I don't think you should need it. I think it should just be something that should just. My be girl give it to me. There. You know what I mean? If, if I had my best feel, ones, girl, if you acknowledge, it make you feel like all right. But I don't feel like ain't something I'm looking. I'm never looking forward to it. Like it's, it's cool. Yeah, but, but you pre- you get pre- uh, I think everybody, I think everybody need acknowledgement, man. I think if you're doing what the fuck you're supposed to be doing, you need acknowledgement. I don't care, like certain. But, I think one day out of the year, if you get one day out of the year, they say thank you, pop. When anybody's watching, they got a pop that was in their life to say thank you, man. Show them the respect and then love, because you don't know how hard it is for them to be in your life. And that's how I felt just growing up. Now seeing little shit that I didn't notice when I was a kid. I notice now being a grown ass man, like damn, I'm a grown ass man with no kids. I can only imagine being a grown ass man with kids. My bad, excuse me. So I'm just saying that 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 job is hard because it's hard for just me being me taking care of myself. So I can only imagine taking care of family. So salute to all the guys, man. That that's there, man. I, I don't how you ever you do it, however you pull it up. I respect and salute all of you. I feel like um like from I mean at least most of my friends and. Like the way I see it, I feel like the world, like on a like you know on a on a like a uniform scale, it's not like glorified like Mother's Day. Like it's not, you know, you see all the com- the commercials for Mother's Day, get your mom this, get your mom that. I feel like on that scale, it's not necessarily glorified. But I feel like, at least from what I see, like if people who have their fathers in their lives and had those relationships treat the day like they treat Mother's Day, like you know what I'm saying, like. If you get your mom something, you get your dad something. If you take your mom out, you take your dad out. Like from what I see, I can't. I don't have my own kids, so I don't know personal, like personal stuff. But like from how I see, like my friends and how like they get treated when it's Father's Day, like they get the, the cards made, whatever. Like you know what I mean? How like how mom would get it? You know what I'm saying? Like so for me, I feel like it should be glorified more publicly, like Mother's Day is. But I feel like. And I, I think that's maybe just kind of like stereotypically how we feel like men are. Like we don't black need. Men. I mean, black men. You know what I mean? But you know, or you could just. I mean, but look, just the man in general. Like it's, we, it's, a, it's an emphasis on black men though, because it's, a, it's, it's, it's so much more we gotta deal with too. Respect. You know what I'm saying? So as black men, we don't need that uh, outward affection. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of how it's, it's yeah. perceived stereotypically. So when it comes to holidays, it's not like, yo, let me scream. Yeah. And I don't. I can agree with that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and you I tell don't. Them, I mean, you know, that could be a fact or that could be how you just kind of... As long as I get that shit from y'all, yeah. my kids, my spouse, my mother and father, I'm all right, man. But I'm saying, but how much, how much of that is... 
a natural feeling or is that just a program feeling because you've been it's conditioned? It's program. That's what I'm saying. That's what I want to break. So, and that's that's Trey's point. To no, where it's I, like, I, I, I get both of It should be. I mean, I'm I'm. I feel like as a dad, I'm going to be content with my kids being like, "Yo, pop, whoop de whoop de whoop." We're all programmed, though. We know this. Already. But but you know what I'm saying. I think that you know ultimately it should be just as glorified. It should be as many commercials and as many sales and as many. Nah. It should be. I don't think. Because so. what's it the difference? Be, I don't bro. think so. I don't think so. So that program so. thing, or just how y'all are as men, y'all don't need the whole door. I think no, it's a think, program. I think it's a programming thing. It's a programming I, thing. Me but personally, I don't need it. me personally, I, I I can only speak for myself. I know, like, I don't care about a lot of things, but from the people who I care about, right. I need it. Like, I don't need it from the world. I truly, I could care less. That's my but whole thing. From the people that I care about, one hundred percent. Like, the reason why it would I don't fuck think me up it, if my kids did. The reason like, why I don't like me think it should be. Uh, like uh, as big as Mother's Day, mm-hmm. it's because like everything that the mom go through. But what if your dad was bigger than your mom? It's, there's plenty of cases like that. It, that's true, but like if, if nine times out of ten, if you if you if you if your dad is bigger than your mom, your mom is still running the household. No, your dad just got to find a say so. Are you no, saying that no. your mom not ain't no? Like I'm sure. No, I don't know what you, your mom could be in the house. Your mom could just be cuckoo crazy. Your mom could be whatever. Like I'm saying, it's circumstances where like the dad is the emotional leader. He's the financial leader. Like it's I know plenty of people that got their mom and their dad, but their dad is like the what keep everything. I know plenty of people too, but I, but I know I know I know more so mothers. But I'm saying, I'm mom. saying, but I'm saying, but for those for those senses, like oh well, I mean, cause yeah, it, cause I, I guess I guess it come from like uh, I know more moms too. I'm saying like you got it, but them dads deserve. I guess it come from dads perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can say that. You can say, I got, I guess it come from that, man. Like I know some younger people. I know some young, like our age. That for whatever reason, like you know what I mean, whether it's yeah. up I know, to I know or a couple not, too, yeah. Yeah. but like they are the primary parent taking them kids to school right. and everything, and I feel like, like I said. I don't care about it, but at the same time, it's programming. But ain't, that man should be honored like that mom that's getting up at 6 o'clock and doing the same thing. Like, there's no... You know should be saying? equal, man. Now, she she gave birth. Don't get me wrong. That's a, that's a process that that's, a man... That's, that's what I was getting at. Yeah, and that's something that I could never even... And, like, then it's like, it's like on top, like, like the ones, like the ones, like you gave birth... And you holding it down. And you holding it down. Like, you coming home... You cook you like you like like for instance like me, my household. You gave birth, right? You gave birth to three of the four that's there, cause one of mine there, right? So you coming home, you making sure everybody done took care of everything. You did your homework. You did your homework. We got a preschooler, and then we got the baby. You feel me? So you taking care of the preschooler and the baby on top of all that. Then you got to get dinner ready. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no telling it. You want to do the whole laundry thing. You know what I'm saying? Then you got to check the motherfucking uh, homework, making sure it's good now. Then you going back to sleep. Just to wake up and do all that shit all over again. So now I was talking about them type of moms. Like, do I think do I think I deserve that over that? Nah. But, if, but what if you was doing that, though? Yeah, I mean, well, it, it wasn't even really saying, your choice then. Like, will it? I just mean, I just feel like you just salute both parents, man. Where if they both hold it down, I just feel like they both should just get saluted. I don't feel like it should be one way over here and one way over here. That's just my personal opinion. I don't think men, I don't know, I can't speak for men, but a lot of men probably don't feel like anything, it needs to be made that big of a deal. That's, a pro, that's, my, that's the whole point. Like, that's my whole entire okay, point. Boo can be doing everything that he said that his girlfriend was Doing, but, but that's conditioning. Doing that's conditioning. That's the whole. That's my whole entire point. It's but that's like that's like a man. That's like a man. Like you having an argument with your girl, and the one time because generally we don't come to our girl and nag every time we feel away, even mm-hmm. though that happens to us a lot. Mm-hmm. So that one time where you nag about something, you hit her with a nag. Yeah. She yeah. tell you some shit like, "Oh, you, you acting like a bitch," or she, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you, she immediately. Make you feel like that one time you had that moment of vulnerability, yeah. you was a bitch, or you was a punk, or you was a whatever. You like, yo, that's why I don't never say that. Because yeah, yeah, the one yeah. time I say something, yeah. you make it seem like I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, so 
we are we are we are trained almost to like just if it's not catastrophic and internalize it. Yeah. Just move forward. Like yo, uh, if it ain't gonna rock my foundation, uh, just keep it pushing. Like, I don't, it could, our I fault? Mean, I didn't say that. Just, like, just I, mean, I don't know like, how you got that out of work. I don't, just, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't I don't like. I don't hey, like being on. I don't like being on that. Spot. I don't know how you pulled that out of what I just said. I don't, I don't know, know how, you. how you just pulled that out of what I just said. <laughs> I don't know how you pulled. There's that. no fucking way it's our fault. <laughs> nah, what I, are you talking about? <laughs> what? Yo, what are you talking about? Yo, how did you just come up with that? Yo, yeah. that's so that's crazy. Nuts. You said we don't make a big deal unless it's catastrophic. Because we can't. We can't afford to. You can't and you can't. Dad can't never say him. We can't afford to. We can't afford to. Mom can say, Mom can say, I don't have it right now. Dad can't say that. Okay. You got, you got to find Dad a way to get it. Like, 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 imagine, like, imagine the scenario where, right, a guy is living with his girlfriend, right? And she's the breadwinner. Right? Well, I mean, you, hey, hey, I hear you. I hear, I hear what you, I hear what you already giving out. They get evicted from the apartment because she can't pay the rent. They are going to ask the guy what the fuck was he doing that whole time, right? Mm -hmm. Now, let's flip the script. <laughs> guy is living with his girl and he is paying the rent. They get evicted. They not going to ask her nothing. I know. They going to ask the man that was holding the house down. But it's a double standard. <laughs> so, and that's right or wrong? I, so, but yeah, yeah but, but that's when it goes into like the shit that y'all yeah, got. Time. You get what I'm saying? Like, that, like, like you had like there's this there's this leg up that you innately have as a woman in a relationship that you that you have throughout the relationship that automatically causes anxiety on a man. Like being a man in a relationship automatically causes anxiety. Mm -hmm. Like I like because I always gotta have money. I can never not have money, whether you think I can or not. <laughs> like even when I go out with my girl and she pays, I have anxiety when they come get the bill because I don't want that person to think that I'm. Right, oh, yo, <laughs> right, right, right. yo, that should be fucking with me, yo. Like, yo. And they always slide you the bill. Cause, Cause they slide you the bill, did she take it? Oh. Now I'm like, yo, you think I'm broke? You yo. think I'm broke? I need to pay. <laughs> I need to pay, or I need to say something. We go grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. My like my lady pays for the for the groceries. That's her bill. That's her bill. But when we had the gro when I, the, the couple times I go to the grocery store, yeah. I gotta pay. <laughs> I can't have that woman behind that yeah, register yeah, yeah. see me have her pay. Shot right, be smacked. So and think I'm some type of fuck. <laughs> it's this game. <laughs> <laughs> it's this fucking game. It's this but why do we have this pride? But why do we have got this it. pride? So that goes back to what I said. It's your fault. It's, no, it's not. It's, it's not. Because if we don't do these things, if we're not this we're man. We're broke. We're bitches. Nothing. We're nothing. We're nothing. When you don't have it, you need me to boost you up. And let them break up. Because that's the first thing like, they say. When saying. a woman doesn't have something, it's my job. To KB. build her, KB. Yeah, when y'all when y'all break up, KB, when y'all break up, what they gonna, what they gonna say about you, KB? You broke ass dead. nigga. Broke ass. You see that? You couldn't, you couldn't even. Yeah. yeah. You, you wasn't even holding down. You thought you was woozy woozy. So really yeah, was, that's man. what I'm saying. That's why you can't. All this stuff. There's so many pressures on a man in a relationship. So you don't think we have those? I've seen a nigga, right? Shit. I've seen you have your own pressure, but right now we're talking about our pressure. Hey, yo, I've seen a dude, right? See, that's the treat, problem. Treat his girlfriend daughter like it was his, man. As soon as they broke up, <laughs> yo, he was everything in the book. He, Bitch, he I buy all that. Like, y'all think he out here looking good? I buy all this. I'm like, like that damn, recording, yo. Like, it's yeah. disgusting. It's like that recording. Because what was the situation like that allowed you to be able to buy him that? Right. I like, what was the understanding? What was the arrangement? Because right. clearly it was like... He was just telling, like he was just gaming you. You dumb. Like I don't get it. Like what happened? There was some type of understanding. They don't give a fuck. Okay. He's broke, boy. As soon as you break up, what? Broke, boy. I had no income three weeks ago when we were in a relationship, <laughs> and it was no issue, no problem. <laughs> but somehow on the twenty fourth, <laughs> now my finances, like yeah, that's when I'm no longer, I'm not even. We broke up. Why would you care now? Like. <laughs> Why would my financial status matter now that we're not in a She want to tell every other girl that you're broke. They don't care either. They don't. Because you was with me for a reason. They ain't going to find out. <laughs> <laughs> what was it that had this nurse <laughs> and her scrubs? 
three. He dropped her all fast. <laughs> <laughs> her, her Nissan Ultima. 645 every morning at the hospital. Y'all stereotyping like a motherfucker right now. Y'all stereotyping like a motherfucker right now. Give her a little kiss. All right, babe. I'll you see you at three. Take the whip the rest of the day? Yeah, you already know. He out. He out. Yeah. That's all right. It ain't nothing. That's something. That's yeah. a fact, though. No, nah, but shout out to the fathers for real, though. You know, nah, back on set, shout out to the fathers. Yeah. And then on on on, uh, on Friday, back to the seriousness, uh, Juneteenth. Shout out to Juneteenth. I seen uh, companies are now giving people paid holidays for Juneteenth. State of New Jersey, catch up. Bank of America, I don't want to use a vacation day next year. <laughs> like, like, come on. That's, that, that, that shit should be something that's been done. We should have to have somebody get nailed on his neck for eight minutes. You're getting there. You heard me? It's happening. What? <laughs> you say you ain't trying to get there. You're getting there. Exactly. I like it. But hold on, the thing is, we shouldn't have somebody that got nailed on his neck for nine minutes for us to enjoy a holiday that we should have been enjoying our whole lives. That's that's something that's just crazy to me. Now, all of a sudden, all our plights are being recognized. That's cool. That's cool. But shout out to everybody that you need to learn about your history. You need to learn about Juneteenth. July 4th ain't for us. When they were signing that de- Declaration of Independence, we were still slaves. Still slaves. So still slaves. everybody on that July 4th tip, I ain't with it. I've never been with it. For that reason, just because I know what July 4th means Gosh. to the Europeans that signed them papers. Gosh. You Cook want out this weekend, yo. Cook out this weekend. Friday, man. Friday. Juneteenth. Yeah. Juneteenth. Even if you can't cook out on Friday. Do like how July 4th do. You know yeah. how I go. Yeah. The weekend before, the weekend after. Mm-hmm. Like, don't don't allow, don't limit yourself to, be, oh, it's just June 19th. If nah. You got, nah. Stretch that bitch. Weekend before, weekend after. Stretch it. Stretch it. Get get, get crazy. Do the whole whoop de woo. Do the whole whoop de woo. A shirt. What it got on there? I will show you. Let me find it. <laughs> All right. Why well, she find a shirt? But let everybody, man, teach your kids, man, because they're gonna teach your kids about July Fourth. Ain't not gonna tell you the backstory. So make sure your kids know about Juneteenth. That's a celebration. I think that's a good thing, though. I think uh, I think I think these kids. That's like uh, I want to say. Ten and down, they gonna be blessed, man. Yeah, as far as our culture go, yeah, like, yeah. cause like it's like, it's more, I'm more. not I'm not one of them dudes. Like, if you late to the party, man, I don't give a fuck. As long as you arrive, on, yo, man. I love it, man. On, man. And I think y'all, it's a lot of people going teach it to their kids, and it's, it's just gonna wind up being a blessing, man. So I think a lot of these kids that's growing up now are gonna be blessed. That's cute. I see it. I like it. I want um. Uh, what do I we'll say um, about Juneteenth? Nah, it's it's definitely important that we we make sure that we uh, establish our holidays. I definitely agree with Trev in a sense. You know, it's crazy that this has been around forever. Um, Cause I remember um, like when I when I get around my family, you know, what I'm saying I, like my family is heavily into this sort of culture. So Juneteenth isn't anything that's new to us. Um, but talking to just, you know, when you're younger, you in high school, middle school, you're talking to people and they just don't even, like, you know what I mean? They couldn't, you know, they don't know the yeah, first I thing didn't about know it. Who it was in high school. I didn't know nothing about it. But. That's not your fault, neither. Nor your mom's. No, I mean, it's, it's you know, it, everybody gets information how they get it when it comes to them and, and they receive it how they receive it. Um, I'm just glad that, you know, we're at a point now where I'm not worried about the corporations, you know what I'm saying? Fuck all of them. I don't think any of them care about us. I do my best to, you know, buy locally when it comes to anything, you know, produce wise and all of that shit. Like I try to just do local shopping and local business. So I don't really give a fuck about corporations. Fuck all of them. So I'm talking about the people. I'm glad that our people are getting hip towards it. I hope it's not a trend just for this year because of what happened to George Floyd and um, what's my man's name in, the, uh, in Georgia? Ahmed Arbery, uh, Breonna Taylor, and everybody else. I hope this is not just a trend. I hope that we continue to celebrate Juneteenth and uh, you know Kwanzaa, mm. you know, whatever holidays that we have that brings us closer to our ancestral roots. I think that we need to continue to celebrate them. Um, I know that it's a tragic year. But I hope that we just take the little blessings that are in disguise and we just kind of continue to grow from how we've been growing over these last couple of months. Because I'm I'm really happy with the little things that I'm seeing, like, from what's been going on. Like, it's been little things that, like, I haven't seen before in my lifetime True. that I've seen. It. Like, yeah, true. like, it's little things I've never seen before. Like, I'm talking about, like... Europeans actually listening? 
Yeah, like I mean, just even even just like the level of protest, like you know what I'm saying, like the, 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 like it, it's 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 been a different level. And I I mean, I think it's the perfect storm of bad things. It's the COVID. It's the you know what I'm saying. It's the three you, three videos. You see my man get shot with the shotgun. You see my man getting I ain't watching none of them. nailed on. I can't. You see, you see, home, home girl, home get invaded, and they they shoot the house up. What fifty? What they, they unloaded some clips. Wrong house. Yeah, wrong yeah. house. So you you still you know registered gun owner, you know whatever. But that's no stories. There. But I was just saying, I ain't no NRA. Story. But that's another story. No NRA. Uh, they don't stand up. Nah, that girl. Best it look like other people. But I'm rambling right now. All I want to say is basically, you know, the only time NRA ever said anything, Black Panthers. That's it. When the Black Panthers was, was was storming them buildings with AK 47s that's, that's the only time I right say, yeah, nah. Other than that, they with the shits. They with it all day, but that's you know. You S- salute to all our black people that's going to celebrate. Uh, just everybody be safe, enjoy yourselves, drink uh, responsibly, smoke responsibly, do everything responsibly, love man. responsibly, definitely. <laughs> uh, we getting all good. Lit. Lit, yeah, man. we getting lit, man. It's episode sixteen, man. Enjoy everybody. Salute.